Did you know that you could add facial capture to your perception on neuro and body capture in Unreal Engine using LiveLink Face? The first thing you'll need to do is go to your plugins and enable the Apple AR Kit face support. This will prompt you to restart Unreal Engine. You will also need to make sure you have the LiveLink Face app installed on your iPhone. Once Unreal is open again, connect Unreal to Access Studio as usual. Now you have data streaming to the body. Next, we will modify the animation blueprint so that it will be ready to record facial data. So, we're going to add a second live link pose node. Connect it to the first live link pose node. Under subject name, you can just call it iPhone. Hit compile. Go back to your viewport. The next thing you're going to want to check is what Wi-Fi you are using. Your computer and iPhone must be using the same Wi-Fi. Now, let's take a look at what's happening on our iPhone. Open Live Link Face. Now, to set it up, go to the settings, Live Link, and make sure your subject name matches what you typed into the subject name in Unreal Engine. Under targets, you're going to want to set the IP address to your computer's IP address. If you don't know what your computer's IP address is, then on your computer, open the command prompt and type in ipconfig, where it says IPv4 address. That is the IP address that you want to type in. You can leave the port number as 11111. Once that is complete, if you check the LiveLink window in Unreal Engine, you should see that your iPhone has automatically connected to LiveLink. And if the blend shapes are set up properly on your character, You, are, you will now be driving your character's facial expressions in real time in Unreal Engine. If this is not working, then it is possible that the blend shapes did not import properly. Make sure when you import the character that you enable Import Morph Targets. In the Skeletal Mesh, you will see a list of morph targets if they imported properly. And that is how you use...